Madam President, Madam High Commissioner, distinguished ministers, excellencies, the COVID-19 pandemic is a human security crisis. The international community must unite in overcoming the crisis to leave no one behind. For its part, Japan will continue to support many countries in building resilient health and medical systems while emphasizing respect for human rights. Madam President, this March, Japan will host the Kyoto Congress aiming at advancing the rule of law globally through this event. This summer, we will host Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games as an occasion both to prove the victory over the COVID-19 and to demonstrate Japan's deconstruction from the Great East Japan earthquake, which happened 10 years ago. Through Tokyo 2020, Japan will promote awareness of unity in diversity and pursue a harmonized society while human rights are fully respected. We will also continue to achieve the SDGs through hosting Tokyo 2020. Madam President, as a member of the Human Rights Council from the Asia Pacific, Japan contributes to improving the human rights situation in this region and beyond. While each country has its own process and pace for improving its human rights situation, we can share fundamental values with many countries and continue moving forward together. In this regard, Japan attaches importance to dialogue and cooperation. For example, we have held various bilateral human rights dialogues, including Iran. Japan has also provided support for the improvement of human rights situations, including education and awareness raising on human rights in coordination with OHCHR in Cambodia. Japan will continue such initiatives. While remarkable economic growth has been made in the Asia Pacific, achieving democracy and protecting human rights remains ongoing challenges. Japan has grave concerns over the situation caused by the military coup in Myanmar. We urge for the release of those who are detained, including State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi, as well as the swift destruction of the country's democratic political system. Universal values such as freedom, respect for human rights, and the rule of law must also be protected in China, including Hong Kong and Xinjiang. Japan is deeply concerned about the decent situation in these areas and strongly urge China to take positive, concrete actions. The issue of abductions by North Korea is Japan's top priority. As the families of the victims continue to age, there is no time to lose on this issue. We welcome the consecutive adoption of the resolution on the situation of human rights in DPRK at the General Assembly for the past 16 years. Japan, in close cooperation with the international community, continues to strongly urge North Korea to take concrete actions through the early resolution of the abduction issue. Madam President, let me introduce some recent Japanese initiatives. Last October, we launched Japan's National Action Plan on Business and Human Rights. Japan will promote responsible business conduct through the implementation of this plan. 
Also, Japan is promoting efforts to eradicate violence against children at home and abroad. As part of this effort, we will contribute approximately 1.4 million dollars to the Fund to End Violence Against Children. Eliminating discrimination against leprosy is also important. Last year, at the Human Rights Council, the relevant resolution was unanimously adopted. We look forward to the continued understanding and cooperation of each country. Japan is working toward a society in which the indigenous Ainu people can live with pride as an ethnic group and in which their dignity is respected. Furthermore, Japan will continue to promote women's empowerment and human rights at the international level. In this context, deeply concerned about the weak position of women in conflict, Japan contributed 2 million euros to the Global Fund for Survivors of Conflict-Related Sexual Violence in 2020. Madam President, let me conclude my statement by underlining Japan's determination in contributing to the protection and promotion of human rights hand-in-hand hand with the international community. Thank you.